The 2020 holiday season is going to look a bit different for everyone this year. With COVID-19 cases surging across the country, many people are foregoing their usual holiday plans of big meals and house parties with friends and family in favor of spending time alone or with a small group of quarantined individuals. This health crisis will affect everyone's holiday, from the average worker to heads of government. Case in point, President Donald Trump has drastically changed his Thanksgiving plans this year. I want to wish you and all Americans a very happy and blessed Thanksgiving. The announcement that the first family's holiday schedule would be significantly different in 2020 comes on the heels of a tough few weeks for Trump, who has been more or less MIA since the 2020 presidential election was called for former Vice President Joe Biden. Aside from a stream of increasingly aggressive tweets, little has been seen or heard from the sitting president since the election was called on November 7, 2020. Now, in this time of immense change for Trump, we're learning that his Thanksgiving plans have also changed. So what is he doing this year? President Trump spent his first three years in office shirking tradition when it came to Thanksgiving. Traditionally, presidents stay in Washington, D.C. or make the short journey to Camp David to celebrate the holiday. Trump, however, did neither. Creatures of habit, Trump and First Lady Melania usually migrated down to Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach as soon as the weather started getting cold. Trump has spent so much time at his Florida estate and country club that it has been nicknamed the Winter White House by the press, according to the Daily Mail. This year, however, Trump's press secretary Stephanie Grisham announced that the president, first lady, and presumably their son Barron will be spending the holiday at the White House. While the most likely explanation for the change in plans is the nationwide uptick in COVID-19 cases making travel dangerous, it's also possible the Trumps are staying home for another reason. As of November 19th, Trump has yet to officially concede the election to Joe Biden. He is waging legal warfare on states in which he claims the results were unfair. His legal team is based in D.C., which could be another reason for his decision to remain in the White House. That, or perhaps he's just not ready to be seen in public yet. President Trump's decision to spend the Thanksgiving holiday in D.C. is just the latest in a long list of notable Thanksgiving moves by the president. In 2019, Trump raised some eyebrows when he declared his intent to save Thanksgiving from the liberals, according to the Washington Post. At a rally of about 20,000 supporters in Florida, he said, We're going to have to do a little work on Thanksgiving. People have different ideas why it shouldn't be called Thanksgiving. But everybody in this room I know loves the name Thanksgiving, and we're not changing it. Trump's remarks were confusing because there didn't appear to be a well-known movement to change the name of Thanksgiving. While he might have thought his speech would win him some points among more traditional voters, it may have had the opposite effect. Trump never clarified precisely who he thought was trying to change the holiday's name and why, which is just as well considering that this November Thanksgiving will still be called Thanksgiving by most Americans, even if celebrations look a little different. The announcement that the first family will be spending the Thanksgiving holiday in D.C. comes amid a flurry of confusion and conflicting information from the White House on exactly what to expect this holiday season. The overwhelming thought process has been that the fewer people you can be around, the better, given the rising COVID-19 numbers. But on November 15, 2020, one of Trump's top advisors suggested that people spend the holiday with their elderly relatives rather than away from them. This is more or less in direct conflict with what the CDC advises, which is to spend the holiday with people in your immediate household and no one else, according to The Hill. No word yet on how many people the Trumps will be spending the holiday with and whether or not they'll be following CDC guidelines while they celebrate in D.C. My attitude is whatever happens, happens. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.